Someone asked me once, do you have a plan B? And I said, no, I don't have a plan B. I mean, if I need a plan B, if the plan A doesn't work, then I'll figure out plan B. My name is Sarah Singh and I'm an illustrator and an artist. I studied fashion design in Sweden and I, I noticed that I really liked the drawing mostly. It's a quick way of making an object without having to sew and buy fabrics and all that hard stuff that I'm not so good at. My inspiration was another Swedish illustrator, Mats Gustafsson. He had a retrospective exhibition of all his work and I told him that I was his biggest fan and I asked him if he would look at my portfolio. He met with me after and he said, you should only draw. And it was so good to hear that because no one had ever encouraged that. The school I went to, they taught you to do everything and it was just so nice to hear that you should only draw. And I made a living doing it. I think my illustration style is timeless. I want a certain kind of elegance and an imperfection and a sense of um, velocity. I think of it as shorthand for painting or even photography. It's just a quick expression for something, to symbolize something. I think as a creative person, it's the eye that develops. It's not so much about the hand. The hand is just about relaxing and it's not the hand that creates, it's the brain. And so I think it's the eye that develops more than anything. My process involves doing a lot of drawings until I have a, a large selection to edit out of. I have an idea in mind. I do a very detailed pencil sketch with the right pose and then I trace over that drawing again and again until I loosen up. When I have a few drawings that are good, that's when I can start to relax all the sort of muscles in my shoulders can relax and then I get a, even a little bit better than I was before the good drawing. Kind of like a photographer, you take a lot of shots and then you edit through them until you find the best picture. It's good to respect your process when you're having a really shitty day and things are coming out awful. It's good to know that it's going to be better tomorrow. I, I think respecting the bad work is also part of the process. I mean, you have days or hours when you're not doing so well and you need to respect that too. Even though it's result-based, our work, you need to respect the process.